Hey everyone, back with a quick update on the air bearing spindle. I've just finished up the first of the two thrust bearings. Here it is here. I'm just doing some preliminary testing with it. Uh, this hasn't been tuned yet. I just epoxied it in, briefly lapped it on the surface plate. So this is the uh, just the raw graphite surface here. But I've got the air plumbed in. As you can see, I squirt some alcohol on it. We're getting airflow to the bearing. Looks good. So here's the shaft. And I'll put in a quick video actually, um, kind of showing how this all is assembled. So you can see what the what the arrangement looks like. Because this bearing, remember, is modular. It can be taken in and out, replaced, um, swapped out, and all that. But I'll grab the shaft here. And this shaft hasn't even been lapped yet. It's still just the uh, turned surface. It's a good turned surface, but it's still just turned. But if I drop it in here, you can see we are floating just nicely. It's not flat, it's not level, sorry. So it's not really staying in the center. I also don't have the radial bearings in, so there's no sort of constraint in all these axes. But otherwise, it's looking pretty promising. So once I get the other one made and put in, we'll begin the tuning process. And that's when I'll do a video about tuning these air bearings. I know I promised that a while ago. I just haven't had a new air bearing to tune that I could make a video about. But now that these are starting to come together, we can show how to do that whole process. But to demonstrate um, why you need to tune, so this one's not just the raw graphite. If I start to preload this, that buzzing put a little more weight so you get this air hammer effect where there's too much flow through the gap and basically the thing is just oscillating up and down so by impregnating the graphite with a little bit of um, grease or resin or some sort of polymer or whatever and decreasing the porosity you can decrease the, the flow through it and stop that, that resonance you get and make them dampening instead of the exact opposite. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, just thought I would come by and let everyone know I'm still out here working on this. I just started a new job, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to do this stuff. And I've been searching for this graphite for the last very long time. So I just found a piece that would actually work. But keep working on this. Um, expect some more updates soon, hopefully. And I appreciate you guys sticking around for it. Thanks for watching.